In this tutorial, we'll go through the process of syncing your designs from Adobe XD using the Overflow plugin for Adobe XD. Before you start bringing your XD designs into Overflow, it's essential to install the plugin through Adobe XD's plugin manager. To do so, hit the plugins icon at the bottom left of your XD window and click on the plus symbol at the top to be taken to the plugin manager. Search for Overflow and hit Install. Once you're done, open the XD file you want to sync your designs from. Select all the artboards you want to bring inside Overflow. Choose Overflow from the available plugins column on the left. In the new menu that appears, you can see the number of artboards selected, as well as pick the density of your export. One of the most important options you have here, however, is to maintain the prototyping interactions you have already built with Adobe XD. This significantly cuts down the time required to create your user flow diagram and overflow since your connections will be preserved and you won't need to recreate them. Once you're done picking your preferred options, hit on the Sync to Overflow button and wait for your designs to appear inside your overflow editor. Notice how your screens are laid out the same way they were in Adobe XD. Once in overflow, you can rearrange your screens in any way that suits your needs. You can also wrap them in device skins for added context and consistency. The next step is to connect your screens with each other to get an interactive user flow diagram. Your original design layers from Adobe XD are maintained in overflow, so each design element can be the starting point of outbound connectors. In case you make any changes to your original artboards in XD, it's pretty straightforward to apply them to your diagram by resyncing with overflow. If those changes included moving a layer in XD, resyncing will automatically update your connectors to reflect the new position of the underlying layer. You can always make manual edits to your diagram to suit your particular needs. Do note that Overflow refers back to your original XD artboard names to identify which screen needs to be updated each time you resync. Therefore, it is important that you maintain your screen names consistent throughout the process.